1984 Monaco Grand Prix was run in dreadful weather conditions. Pole winner Alain Prost led from the start for McLaren, but crashes occurred right from the first corner. Lotus's Nigel Mansell took the lead from Prost, whose engine developed a misfire. But Mansell crashed out of the lead when he touched a painted white line. Prost led again, but had Ayrton Senna in the unfancied Tolman reeling him in. Prost was also suffering from a brake problem and began waving his arm at the start finish line in an attempt to get the race stopped as the rain intensified. Then race director Jackie X agreed a few laps later and halted the race on lap 32. Senna was catching Prost so quickly that he actually passed him at the finish line but the results were backdated to lap 31, so Prost won by 7.4 seconds. Although Senna brought the gap down between himself and Prost by 27 seconds in under 10 laps, his car sustained a cracked front rocker and might not have gone the distance. Tyrrell Stefan Bell finished third and had even slightly closed the gap to Senna while Ayrton was catching Prost. <music> Belloff was driving the only non-turbo car in the race and had started last, but his result never stood as Tyrrell was thrown out of the championship that season. The greatest irony is that if Prost had gone 75% of the race's planned distance, even if he'd finished second, he would have won the World Championship that year. Instead, only half points were awarded in Monaco and he lost the title to teammate Nicky Lauda by half a point.